Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we are doing another video on Xbox Series S. Yes, you're right. We are doing another one. So, <clears throat> I've had the Xbox Series S for what, six weeks now. Six weeks I've been playing this a lot. I've been going through here. I mean, like, as you can see, man, I have just got a ton of games. I got 197 of them downloaded right now. And, man, I, seriously, I've had no shortage of experiences to go through. I mean... How many games you got? Seriously. How many freaking games you got from Xbox One to Xbox Series S? You know, I mean, like, just think about this for a minute. I have a total of 365 Xbox games that I've bought in, since 2016. So that's a lot of freaking games. And then I mean, if you could do games with gold, I got 20 of those, too, that I've that I've that I've collected over the over the time. I, I, I downloaded these ones because I already had most of them on the on the PlayStation 4 already. So, I mean how many games like ask yourself how many games do you got well today's video is all about how the xbox series s experience is okay so as you know i hooked this up to a to a 1440p monitor a couple of weeks ago and i have to say this but first, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I, I, I promise there's a point to this. It's going to be a little bit a little bit drug out, but this is something you need to hear. There, there's, a lot of mis there's a lot of misinformation out there about Xbox Series S. Xbox Series S is designed for a 1440p monitor or 1080p TV. Those are, those are the... Those are the those are the ranges for the resolution that they shoot for on the Xbox Series S. Okay? Now, if you come all the freaking way down here to your Xbox 360 games and regular Xbox One games, some of those have gotten, you know, like a, like a, like a resolution boost. Um, if they're running 4K on the, uh, on the uh, Series X or the Xbox One X, then, then generally they do kind of get a resolution boost on, on the Series S2, I've noticed. Uh, I've noticed in a lot of these games. But the one thing that really sets this thing apart, the fact that you can um, generally, if you're if you're playing on if you're playing on Series S or if you're if you're playing like these older games, you know they're they're going to range from 720p all the way up to you know 1440p throughout the whole spectrum of the uh, of the Xbox, you know uh, of Xbox games, you know from from the beginning, you know from original Xbox all the way up. So we all know backward compatibility is really highly, um, really highly supported on the Xbox platform. So you can play games from all four generations of Xbox, right? So a lot of these games have also received what's called FPS boost. So FPS boost is what FPS boost does is it unlocks the frame rate, you know, from the 30 or whatever and bumps it up to 60 or from 60 to 120. Now there are a lot of games that are taking advantage of that. I think there's well over a hundred of them. I mean, I think there was almost a hundred, and then they they knocked out another seventy something games or whatever for you to for you to look at. So, I I think you know what is it, what is it, like one hundred and eighty or something like that. There's a lot of games out there that are well, they're either FPS boost or they were added to backward compatibility or or something like that. There's there, there's a lot of them though. So, in my testing now. I have come to the conclusion on a 1440p monitor, this is my conclusion, and I'm pretty sure your experience will be the exact same I have. This is the most consistent console out there. The most consistent. If you're running this on a 1440p monitor, you are going to have the most consistent time because on the Xbox Series X on a 4K TV, if you're running one of them Xbox uh, 360 games, then your resolution is effectively going to go all the way to 720p and it's going to look extremely blurry. It's not going to look that great. If you're running a game, you know, that if, if you're running games lower than 1440p on Series X, it, it, it on a 4K TV, it, it kind of makes the... It, it really doesn't, the, the resolution doesn't hold up. The image quality does not hold up that well. But, 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 
if you got a 1440p TV or monitor and you're playing something like good old Assassin's Creed, the very first one that came out, whoa, would you look at that? This thing looks like it's native 1440p and now runs at 60 frames a second. This game looks just as good as it does on the Xbox Series X. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. A lot of people want to downplay the Xbox Series S, but this thing more, more than freaking delivers. More than freaking delivers. If you're coming from a base Xbox One, or you're coming from a PlayStation or a PlayStation 4 Pro, wow, wow, this is freaking phenomenal. If you've never seen a 4K TV or or 4K, you know, 4K games, and and you go from and you go from the last time you saw Assassin's Creed, it was running at 20 freaking frames a second at 720 freaking P on Xbox, you know, Xbox 360 and PlayStation uh, 3, and you go to this, you go to this, like your game, your game just literally got completely better. It runs smoother. It looks better. It looks sharp. It looks crisp. Look at these shadows. Look at everything in this. This looks good. You can actually play the original Assassin's Creed at 60 frames a second with the sharpest resolution you have ever seen on a console, on on your console, on your Xbox console. This looks freaking amazing. It literally looks freaking amazing. It looks crystal clear, sharp. You got, I mean, you can see with the 16x anastrophic filtering, you got better textures in the walls. Like, like, look at these walls right here. Let me get over here just a little bit, just so you can kind of see it. You can literally see texture in these walls. It looks great. It looks really good. I mean, you look down there at the ground, you can literally see the dirt texture up against the wall before you start to get to the cobblestone. You can see that. You can see that, and it looks freaking amazing. The way it blends, the way it looks. I I promise you, if you played this last... if you The last time you played this, if you played this on, on a freaking <laughs> PlayStation 3 or a 360... I guarantee you didn't remember this much texture in there. I, don't, I, I guarantee you didn't. It wasn't this clean. It didn't look this nice. I I, I guarantee freaking t that it's. This literally looks like it's 4K on my 1440p monitor. That's how freaking sharp and clean it looks. You got auto HDR that you get with a lot of these games, so that automatically makes this image look even better. I mean, there's actually like blue in the sky now. Not a lot. I mean, this has still got that, you know, gray gray color palette from the old ones, from, from the 360 and PlayStation 3 generation. But the fact that this looks, I mean, like, look at the texture in the top of this, in this, this in this rug right here. You can literally see texture in the rug. You can see better texture on, on Altair. Look at the, the way the gauntlet looks, you know? This 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 console is nothing short of amazing. Um, the fact that I would much rather, like I, I'm I'm being completely honest with you, I would much rather play <clears throat> anything that's from you know 360 generation <clears throat> all the way up to non optimized Series X and S games on the <clears throat> on the Xbox Series S. I mean, let's let's look at another one. I would do I would do Watch Dogs 2, but that freaking game takes so freaking long to load into that it's not even funny. A game like Watch Dogs, the original Watch Dogs, <clears throat> <coughs> this game might take a minute to load into too. But a game like this right here, like one of the you know one of the uh, the original games that came out, like this game always had kind of rough, um, not rough visuals, but. It could definitely do with a <clears throat> with a makeover for sure, but I mean I want to see if this one here will hold up to uh, will hold up to how good Assassin's Creed uh, Unity looks. 
this one here is one I have yet to check out yet. I have checked this out on, you know, on the Xbox Series X, but I don't think I've checked this one out on, on here. I know I've checked out, you know, Watch Dogs 2. That does take a little bit to load into, but man, man, this is the most consistent system available right now to date. To be able to hook up to a monitor natively and get a consistent experience all the way across. You cannot get that on your Xbox Series X. You definitely can't get that on your PlayStation 5 because it doesn't play any of those games. But, I mean, PlayStation 5 is pretty dang good on a, on a 1440p monitor, too. I think that's probably where I will, you know, be playing most of most of my games, you know, as we go forward through through this generation. I do feel like I'm going to have my PlayStation hooked up to that a lot more than the 4K TV for sure. Like that. And, and that's, I mean, that's fine. I'm fine with that. I've come to that. I've come to that realization and I'm and I'm pretty much okay with that for the most part. I mean you know, you're still going to get the loading times on some of these older games and stuff, but the fact of the matter is is these this is the most consistent experience you're going to get. It'll play games from the beginning of Xbox all the way up to current Xbox first party um well, to current Xbox next gen games. And this is nothing short of amazing. You get amazing load speeds. You, I know that there's, I know, I know that there's going to be a lot of misinformation going around about Xbox Series S. Oh man, it's not even strong enough to be a next gen console, or, or all of the stuff that all of these insecure people are saying. I'm telling you, I'm 100% satisfied with this Series S. 100%. Every new game that I've played on it, completely consistent with what I'd get, what with with the experience that I would expect to have on my Series X. Um, the backward compatibility is where this console really shines because I believe that both of these watchdogs have been um, FPS boosted. So now you're going to get 60 frames a second on these games, man. Yeah, look at that. See. I mean, it doesn't look super, super great, but that looks clean. It looks sharp. It looks clean. And look at this, 60 freaking frames a second, man. Like 60 frames a second. <laughs> That's so freaking great, man. Like you can literally play this game. I mean, yeah, this one, this, this was probably the one that was the most rough, but oh my gosh, man. Being able to play this at 60 frames a second yeah, can't do that on your PlayStation, man. You just you you cannot do that on a PlayStation, man. And, and that's not to take a dig at PlayStation, but like, gosh, man, look at this. The freaking textures look a lot, look all right. You know, they look pretty good. I mean, look at this grass, dude. You get you get the vegetation in here. Like you're still getting the vegetation. Wow, dude. <laughs> I didn't even realize this was. I mean, this is pretty good. This is pretty good, man. For three hundred dollars. If you've got like a lot of Xbox One games or, or early Xbox One games, like look at that ding texture in that in that man. Like just look at that. Like you can like this game still holds up pretty well, you know. I mean, like you can see Aiden's face pretty decently. I mean, yeah, look at this. This is this is the most consistent freaking console on the market to date. If you put this thing on a 1440p monitor. Wow, this thing holds up. Look at this guy. Look at the look at the detail on this little guy. Come here, come here, dude. Come here. Like, look at that. Oh, wait, come on. Hold steel. Hold steel. Hold steel, dude. Oh, look at this. Look at this tree. This tree looks pretty freaking good. <laughs> come over here and look at these people. Let's see. Can we can we get a close up? Hey guys, how's it going? Like these character models. Sorry, dude, I didn't mean to bump you. Like, these character models kind of look... I mean, they look all right. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you can see that texture in the ground right there. This, uh, man, you guys... Every time I see something like this... Every every single time I see something like this on my Xbox Series S... Man, I'm, I'm freaking blown... Literally blown away. Like, this is freaking phenomenal. Phenomenal. I get to play this game... 60 frames a second. Solid 60 frames a second, might I add. I mean, you're... <laughs> wow. Just freaking wow. I mean, Watch Dogs 2 is the same way. I mean, a lot of people say Ubisoft games are trash, but you know what, man? Like, these things are pretty actually fun to, like, play around in. They're actually pretty fun, you know? <clears throat> 
mean, I like the movement that, that's in these games. Like, you get some pretty cool freaking movement and stuff. You know. I mean, can you go into this store? I mean, those reflections even look good. Even though there's no street over there. It still looks pretty freaking funny. You know? I mean, this is... This is good. This this makes me happy. This makes me happy. This makes it so I feel perfectly okay. Like, you saw how many games I got. You saw how many games I have. I love the fact that I can sit here and go back through those games and play. And look at this. Look at this. Man, I get a decent experience. I get, an, I get, a, I get a sharp image. I get a sharp image. I get 60 frames per second. On a lot of games that didn't even have 60 frames a second last generation, I get um, <clears throat> I get to experience these games like I experienced them when I first bought them, and that is probably better than when I first bought them. Better than when I first bought them, and that makes me extremely happy. So, if you like this content and you want to see more of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.